second. I'm gonna eat these uh, peanut-filled peanuts. Well, good. As you're eating that, I get to read our qualifying question for the richest, most dangerous game in America, part three of our game show of our quiz night shenanigans begins with greed. Um, this is gonna be a fun one. I'm going to ask a question with a numerical answer. Five people closest to the correct answer, whether it be high or low, will make up our team. You guys are going to DM me your answers if you are wanting to play. But remember, once you lock in an answer, you cannot change it. It's as simple as that. We could give away over $2 million. If you guys are ready, this. This is your qualifying question. What was the price paid for the most expensive Picasso painting ever sold at auction? What was the price paid for the most expensive Picasso painting ever sold at auction? God damn. In terms of millions. In terms of millions, what was the price paid for the most expensive Picasso painting ever sold at auction? Your guys' time starts now. That's a good little question. I am making sure that everybody that's locked in an answer I have I have written down because I want to make sure oh, that is that's Johnny all right cool because I'm going by who locked in first and then second so on and so forth Then Peach. Wow. All right. Let me go to Joey. Cool. By the way, if anybody gets it right on the money, they get ten thousand dollars. Well, that'd be nice. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> Turn go over the border. Ooh. In that white van that he owns. Yeah, that, that gives, gives me diarrhea. diarrhea. <laughs> Oddly, and what's so funny is that one of you is so close. And I mean, you are, one of you is within four million. It's, it's not you, Mel. Don't worry. You probably said three hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> no, that would be more than what they said. No, you guys are gonna be so shocked. I'm gonna tell you letters. All right, you guys ready for the correct answer? It's one hundred and four million dollars. Oh. Uh, Peach is team captain with the, because he guessed a hundred million. Um, <laughs> Turd uh, is in position number one at one hundred and seventeen, followed by Johnny at seventy five. Nels, position number three, who guessed 50 million. And Scott takes position number four. He guessed 20 million. Wow, I'm surprised I got it in the. Uh, Scott's number than Nels. How that feel, Scott? And a hearty fuck you, turn. <laughs> Joey and Lawrence, we thank you for playing just. 
be on the sidelines for the time being and see if this team succeeds or fails. And ladies and gentlemen, this is your team for greed. Who does the team have It's Peach. Oh lord, okay. We all know how greed works. Just remember that if any time a team misses a question, you lose everything. The game is over. Peach, you know your responsibility as team captain. Are we ready to play? Yeah, I think we're ready. Yeah. Scott, welcome to the game. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm up first. Yes, because you have the $25,000 question. Are you up for it? Here's your $25,000 question. I, I fucked that one up because you know my my programming ass. Aw oh, damn. Your question, just like your arm count, count is white. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The questions stay the same. Which of the following is not uh, the name of one of Santa's reindeer? Bratters, Blitzen, Rudolph, or Dasher? All of the MS. Um, by process of elimination, I think it's Bratters. Peach, do you accept or reject? Um, I, for one, am also really, really hoping it's Bratters, so I'm going to accept that answer. Is it Bratters for $25,000? Oh, she was said <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes! Yay! Everybody's off the mark! I thought that was a friend too. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I made you guys do a double take. You're welcome. <laughs> Everybody has $5,000. Peach, do you want to keep the cash or do you want to continue? We need to continue. You're pretty. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be fun because you're putting all your trust in Nels. Great. Yeah, please don't mess it up because I don't want to see. I don't. We all don't want to go home and see a dead body in the parking lot. Yeah. Nels, here's your fifty thousand dollar question. What was Bing Crosby dreaming of in his worldwide hit song? A big turkey. A full stocking, lots of presents, or a white Christmas? You have, you have no way to do it a white Christmas. He says a white Christmas, Peach, except or reject. He was actually uh, reading up the comics that everyone knew his name. So, no, I'm going to accept white Christmas. Is, is it? Is it white Christmas just like out of a issue of Playboy for $50,000? Oh Yes! And you're up on the plane for the website to share for you to look up the plane for the Wing Game Fest. Oh! Oh! Burn! Hey, we don't talk about Lyco's turn. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought that said excite.com. Oh my god. Peach? I heard that burn and I was muted. Oof. Peach, do you want to continue and go for 75000 Uh, I'm, I'm feeling the need, Pat. Let's go. Johnny, our Canadian friend from Canada, how you doing, sir? Pretty good, pretty good. First time playing Greed? Uh, first time playing, yeah. Good. Well, I want, I want to make sure that for your first game, you win a lot of money, and hopefully it's two million dollars. I think he should get Canadian dollars. Did you know? Oh no, we'll we'll get him Canadian dollars because we ain't gonna shortchange the bastard. <laughs> Seventy-five thousand, Johnny. Here's your question. What is a twelfth of a foot called? A toe, inch, meter, pound, or ounce? He says an inch. Hey, thanks for the answer. Yeah, you're yeah, welcome. Anyway. Yep, because that's exactly what it is. Seventy-five thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I, I knew I recognized that tattoo of warning, Cho you're going to be choking on small parts. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to burn him. I've got a good one. Oh, shit. Nels' no, girlfriend walks into his room, holding a roar, and says, Why is it it's at a quarter of an inch? Oh! Joey, fuck you, dude! Oof. Peach I'm sorry, but Pat's first. I can't remember the last time I choked on. I can't remember the last time I choked on small parts, Joey. Well, well think, think about it this way: it's not me, not Nels. Oh my, it's definitely not me. Oh, that's right. You're referring to all all the cheaters we've had in the past. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I. Uh, P, shall we go for a hundred thousand dollars? Like that is the that is the name of your ex's porn film. Oh. And yes, if you were talking to Pat, I would like to play for a game. All right, turn, Mr. Ferguson. How you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm better than I'm sorry. Well, let's see if you can get a hundred thousand dollars on this question. What follows? Look in the sky. It's a bird. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's Sparrow Guy, Spider Man. Superman, E.T., or Mariah Carey? Man, if it was Mariah Carey, that would be a fucking bliss. E.T., that would be extra testable, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> You sound like me when drunk. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with uh, Superman. He says Superman, except or reject. Uh, I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure if I. I... Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Let's go. For a hundred thousand dollars, is it Superman? Yes. Well, I imagine the horrors it would be if it was Mariah Carey and uh, all I want for Christmas is you to play it over and over. Oh over. god, Thank I think I think half of the world population will shoot themselves. Yeah. Myself I'm included. Jump on you, I love that song. Get out. Get out. Yeah, get people out. <laughs> Every question. <laughs> Every question has four correct answers instead of one, and you must rely on each other to come up with those correct answers. Peach, a hundred thousand dollars is what you have. Do you want to risk it for two hundred thousand or take the money? Before you decide, let me tell you the category. Yes, please. The category is board games. Do you want to keep the cash and walk away, or do you feel the need for greed? Go, please, go! We got it. That's the sound of the Terminator. It gives one person a chance to eliminate another player and take his or her money by challenging them to a one-question showdown. Keep the team the way it is, but sweeten the pot. I will give that person $10,000 just for challenging, win or lose. Watch, watch it be me. Let's activate the Terminator now. Scott. Terminator shows you, is there anybody you want to call out, take their money, and potentially eliminate them from the game, and I'll give you $10,000. This is a very solid team we have. As much as I love to fuck with Nels, Especially at MBG, this is solid. We're keeping the team. I'm not shouting. All right. Yeah. Wow. Merry Christmas, Niles. That is a happy late Christmas. All right. So how it stands is everybody is playing for forty thousand dollars. If you guys are ready, here is your $200,000 question. 
So the category was board games. Which four of the following six are rooms in a standard version of Clue? Study, billiard room, kitchen, dungeon, ballroom, wine cellar. Now, Peach, you have a freebie, which you can use to eliminate one wrong answer on any question. Do you want to use it now or save it for later? I think we're going to keep the freebie. All right, Scott, we're going to start with you. Give us a correct answer. It helps. I was in this. I put on a play production. This is high school. We had to build one of these for the room, the billiard room. The room. Nels. Kitchen. Just kitchen. Johnny. Study and Mr. Ferguson. Feel pretty confident. It is uh, where I keep my underwear. The ballroom. <laughs> <laughs> Peach, you are team captain. Is there anyone answer you want to change? Feeling good about these answers, Pat. All right. Seems very confident. Are we gonna do the ballroom blitz? Yes. All star play? Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Stop shaking the promo, Michael. Build a room. Yes. yes. How about the study? <laughs> yes. Okay, now. Anytime is my answer. Well, it's a matter of do you trust Nels? Because I have $20,000 for you and your team to divide. Do you feel like Nels is going to fail you? Or you can hand it back, potentially win 200000 Okay, I don't want to say anything that, that may backfire on me. I don't have to trust Nels. Because I'm feeling pretty good about taking myself. Alright, he's gonna g give me back my money! For $200,000! Is it the kitchen? Yes, it is! Yeah! Look at that! Let's go for back now. $200,000 gang, everybody has $40,000. Now the next stop is 500000 before you decide. Let me give you the category. You still have your freebie, by the way. The category for your half a million dollar question is the movies. Now, important decision. Do you want to keep the 200000 or do you feel the need for greed? I know that was off her hair and she's looking at you. <laughs> oh, they smile, they smile. They do. No. no. <laughs> oh my god. I have I, not been sure to entertain me while I still bait this. I, I still think you should go, Peach. Yeah, I. The movies. Well, we still have the freebie peach, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, my team feels pretty good about this, so I'm gonna go for it. Gonna go for a half a million dollars! There you go, peach. And the Terminator's on the prowl! Oh, God. Nels! What the hell? The Terminator has chosen you. Anybody you want to call out for ten thousand dollars? Take their share of the pot. We'll keep the team at this. All right. Yes. Oh. Ah. That must be a huge sigh of relief from Peach. So as of right now, everybody is playing for one hundred thousand dollars. I wish you all the very best of luck. This 
is your $500,000 question. Good luck. Which four of the following seven movies were the highest grossing films of the 2000s, according to IMDb? Shrek, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Avatar, Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest, Spider-Man, The Da Vinci Code, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Your freebie is in live play. Can I ask a question? Yes. Is it all the 2000s? Yes, between 2000 and 2009. Peach, you have a freebie. Would you like to use it? Ideas of which four it could be. I'm visualizing the four choices in my head right now. Okay. I, 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 I trust you, Peach. Whatever you want to do. Okay. I'm gonna save the freebie. Big big risk. I'm gonna save the freebie. Scott, we start with you. It's best four out of seven. Okay. I have a couple in mind. I would think with how big it was, it would have broke records in that year. I'm gonna say Avatar. Scott says Avatar. Nels. He, he took mine. Um, I want to say Pirates of the Caribbean Desert Chest. It's two. Johnny. Uh, I remember won a lot of Oscars. I don't know if that translated to box office, but I'd go with Lord of the Rings. Okay. Said Lord of the Rings. Turd, you have the fourth answer. I will fairly tell you, Peach, I do not feel <clears throat> super great about this answer, but Spider-Man. Now, as Team Captain Peach, you have the right to change one. See where you're getting at with Spider-Man. But I, t- I gotta tell you, in, in your case, Kurt, I was thinking Harry Potter instead of Spider-Man. Not sure why. Like, I know... I know the movie, like, I have to think all of the movies in the Harry Potter series, like, performed very well at the box office, given the multimedia franchise it became. So, I'm going to reject Spider-Man. Okay. And replace it with Harry Potter. Okay. This, Other than that, I like the other three answers. This were, could awesome. be half a million dollar swing because you saved the freebie, which is entirely impressive that you're taking a risk yeah. on it. Uh. Avatar, is that a correct answer? Has to be. Yes. Oh, God. $2.923 billion. Damn. Yeah, I held the record for a while. Yes. Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Is that a correct answer? It has to be. Two. <laughs> Oh, good one, one billion one hundred and forty six million. And we're halfway to five hundred thousand. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Is that a correct answer? Yes. That's now. One billion sixty six million dollars. I took a guess after when you said Avatar Scrap, I just took a guess that I had no Now, what it comes down to is that switch. 
$50,000, I am going to offer you the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is wrong. Or you could take a chance, a one in four chance, that your team has $500,000. We got to go for it. What are you thinking? Oh, man. <laughs> Again, I just went with that because of how I per how big I perceive Harry Potter to have been over the last few decades. Exactly. I, I agree with Pete. <laughs> Really comes down to how confident you feel. I get why Turd thinks it would be it could be Spider-Man, but something in my heart is just telling me it was that Harry Potter was just the bigger the bigger franchise, even. Go with your heart, Pete. My heart's telling me to go for it. You gonna go for it? Yes. Oh my god. Gotta oh give this man, god. you gotta give this man some praise my for going for it. Me, my butt's telling me that I'm out to <laughs> God. Oh, Terry, we love you, baby. Did Harry um, Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone make the top four? If it did, Scott, Nels, Johnny, his first time being here, Turd and Peach, will have one hundred thousand dollars to their names. Nels, are your names hard? You just lean back and I swear you guys are hard. Good Shut up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's now I get to ask the most important question. For five hundred thousand dollars, a half a million, is it Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Go green, go green, green, green. They got it! Yes! <laughs> All right. Nice trick, nice trick. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my nipples are right now. You guys ready? Are you guys ready for this? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was just over a billion dollars. Spider Man was 825 million. The Da Vinci Code, 760 million. Shrek 2 was 928.7 million dollars. That was the one that scared me. Oh my good. And it gives yeah, me great pleasure to say you guys have five hundred thousand uh, dollars. But the next stop, and you guys have a freebie, is a million. But before you decide, my heart's racing. <laughs> Because we, it's rare. We've never had any team get up to the half a million dollar level and faced with the option to go for a million. And your category for your million dollar question is art. Oh. Do you want to take the cash, walk away, or do you really feel the need for greed for one million dollars? How about snakes? Ah, ah, shit. Sorry, my bad. Oh, man. I think you just made that decision pretty easy for me. Like, I know, we've got the freebie, but it's only going to take away one, and it's going to leave us seven out of that. On a subject that I have, like, zero confidence in. Yeah, me, me too, Peach. I think we're done. That's it! They're calling it quits, guys! Massive round of applause, $500,000. I was telling everybody, he said fart. <laughs>
<laughs> For Johnny's first time here as our lovely Canadian, he wins $100,000. Hey, Pat. Yes. Hey, you can be a Canadian millionaire. Can we still see the question? <laughs> you are a fucking behind you, Scott. Now, I want to know if we would have won it. Okay. We, let's find out, and we have to play with total honesty. What would you have done? I'm assuming that with the Terminator coming into play, you guys would not have played it, because on how solid you guys are as a team. Yeah. yeah. So no. let's find out. Yeah, I would have needed all hands on deck here. This would have been your million dollar question. Which four of the following eight pieces of art are the most expensive in the world? Salvatore Mundi, Washer Schlagen II, number 17A, The Card Players, Interchange, Mona Lisa, Masterpiece, Nafia Fa Ipo Ipo. Would you have Why used the, the would you have used the freebie? Oh yeah. Well let's yeah. take let's use the freebie and take away that one. That was Watcher Wasser Schlotzen the second. Now Scott, give me a correct answer. <laughs> um Yeah, I, I would have had to go for the obvious of Mona Lisa at this point. Alright. Uh, Nels? Nels, it's okay. I know this is a what if scenario. You know what? I will say number seventeen A. Okay. Johnny. Uh, Salvador Mundi sounds pretty old, so okay. we'll go with that one. <laughs> Turd. It would have been between two, uh, honestly, I probably would have been with Nafia, Fah, Epo, Epo. Now, Peach, okay. as team captain, would you have kept those four, or would you have changed one? Here's the thing. Three of them are what I personally was thinking. The last one... I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that the card players was one of the most expensive art pieces ever sold at auction, so I would have replaced Nafia Fi Epo Epo with the card players. Alright. Now let's <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Oh. Salvatore Mundi. Is that a correct answer? Yes. Oh no. Well, that that one was guaranteed. Good. Ready for this? Four hundred seventy-five point four million. Damn. Damn. And that was painted by Da Vinci. Right. The card players. Yep. Says on two hundred seventy-four million. Mona Lisa. Eight hundred and sixty million dollars. It comes down to number seventeen A. God. If number seventeen A is correct, this team would have done the inevitable and won a million dollars. I want to see it right now. I really do. For one million dollars. Was it number 17A? No. Nothing. Interchange. Interchange? Uh, number 17A was painted by Pollock, and that was worth, that's worth 208 million. Uh, Interchange was painted by uh, E. Kooning, and that has a value of 300 million dollars. What? To give you an idea of the other three, Wasser Schlocken II uh, was painted by Klimt, $198 million. Masterpiece was painted by Liechtenstein, $165 million. Nafia Fa Ipo Ipo was painted by Gauguin, and that has a value of $219 million. You guys made the right decision. <laughs> Peach had breathed a sigh of relief. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations, five hundred thousand dollars. Oh my goodness. That was that was a game. Wow. You couldn't have played it any better. When we come back, 
We're gonna need a little break from this because when we come back, it's Jackbox time. Don't you go anywhere. Oh yeah, Jackbox. Yeah. <laughs>